welcome back. Today me and Stefan, I should say good morning, because it's early as fuck. Before 7 a.m. Yeah, I don't like that, I'm a vampire. Um, Especially when we were at the haunt after midnight. Yeah, I didn't fall asleep till 3, even later actually. But um, right now we are driving to an in hour a mile, turn left onto Chrisman Road. An hour and a half away to get a bunch of barrels for our our barrel room, our nurse's room, which we need to come up with a better name for that. Um, but this place has them really cheap, um, and this is the kind of haunt shit that they don't show you. We do a lot of fucking driving to random places for great deals on things. And I think any other haunt would do the same. We seem to do it a lot. So, anyway, part one of our journey today. Let's go to Goshen. Alright guys, hour and a half later, here we are at Miller's Building Supply. to get some barrels. So here's all the, uh, the barrels. Today we're gonna try to get 20 of them. Um, and then hopefully come back after we get a bunch in, in our room. I estimate that we need probably 40, um, but we'll see uh, once we have them in the actual room. So let's load some barrels. All right, so truck and trailer full of barrels. We fucking stacked them for sure. They all have lids too, so that's an added bonus. Uh, we got them all strapped down so they don't fall off while we're driving down the highway. Final That'd destination. Not good. Um, anyway, hour and a half back. That way. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. Um, so today we're up at the haunt. A um, few things. Well, I forgot that I vlogged earlier. So you have already seen we got all these barrels now inside. Um, this is only about half of what we're going to use in that room. Um, we got to lay them out, see how our path goes. We'll have areas where they're only stacked up too high, which means it's going to be a tight, tight fit because that's just above my head. I'm about. Um, 5'8", so that's about six feet tall or so. Um, and then we'll have other areas where it's stacked three high. We'll have areas where we chop it in half and use it as kind of um, a half a barrel just as a prop on a wall or something. Um, you'll have actor platforms and scares all, all over the place to um, make it a really cool room for the actors, which are our nurses. So um, it's going to be really cool in here. But before I bring in our, our barrels, I need to hang, hang metal on our wall just like this. So there's an, another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve pieces of metal that need to get hung up in here. Um, it's easy to do, you just use a nail gun and just pop it. Um, but the problem is all our metal is outside, so you have to drag it out of our dumpster, bring it around our building, through our kitchen, bring it down this long, messy hallway in that room, stand it up, then nail it in. So it's kind of a bitch. Um, I think before I do that, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna paint the rest of that clown mask so it's done. And then uh, the other thing that I'm gonna try to do today is more propping and stuff in, um, Ward B, uh, throwing up more cage stuff, um, shit like that. So this was the progress yesterday. The rest of that stuff needs to get hung up. Um, yeah, it's not so much actual props as it is crap that needs to get hung up and things like that. So, and it looks like two of my bolts fell, four of my bolts fell off. This one halfway. I'll fix it. Hot glue. So, all right. Let's do something. So, my first project is this clown mask. Um, when I was uh, hitting it underneath its chin, it moved and it got this red 
line right there so I have to repaint this all white and then re-hit it with our black and then once it's dry I'll hit it with the crystal clear to make it sh shiny and pretty and then this is going out to a customer I posted it and it's already bought so if you want one order it now because they're going like they're going fast so let's do it all right the mask is done it's all shiny and pretty I like it chins fixed and it just looks better with that glossy coat over it so this one is going out to a customer if you'd like your own Haunted Hills Productions check them out let's go do some work in Ward B the idea is that I want to take like all our our corners this one this one right here um, stuff like that and take a piece of cage and place it in there kind of like a triangle almost like kind of like a Christmas tree kind of a shape um, and 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 bend it around and then we can hang chunks of skin we can hang body parts shit like that on it be really cool once it's all done um, so I'm gonna work that and work my way to over here where I hang up the rest of that shit um, yeah and then after that I'm waiting on on Devin to do the rest of the distressing in Ward B once that's done we can do all of our windows um, start adding a, a lot of blood and stuff making it real gory real scary and then we can start working on the showers so or not the showers anymore but anyway cage time all right guys so I've got our cages up in all the corners and I also uh, grabbed a big chunk of cage and stuck it here across this um, we're gonna be doing something really cool with our uh, rescue antibody mounting it on this for a pretty creative scare that'll be awesome once it's done so <sighs> right now I'm going to hang up the rest of these props after that, I'm at a standstill in this room until Devin gets done the rest of the uh, distressing on that side. And then she has to go through and do latex on all those chunks of cloth. And then distress these areas throughout. And then once that's done, we have to do all of our... Um, all of our our blood and gore and stuff in here she also has a small chunk of wall that she needs to paint right around this corner and then right there too so that's the hold up in this room I'm gonna hang up all this stuff and then see where where I'm at after that I'll start ha hanging up metal in the nurses room I guess so let's do it alright guys here's progress all these strings are hung up, um, heads are hung up in locations. See one over there, that corner, that corner, one thing hanging right here, that half head in the uh, tray over there, and then I put another half head right here in that thing. Um, this head is going to either go on Rescue Annie, because it's also got like a chest and it's a pretty good quality head. Or I might take it and make like an acid barrel in our, our barrel room. But now, um, so that's done. Now in that room, I'm just waiting on, on Devin um, to knock it out. So now I'm going to go outside and start grabbing metal, bringing it in, hauling it around the fucking building, hanging it up in that room. So fun. Let's do it. All right, guys, quick update uh, before I leave. I was planning to get the rest of this room done, um, our metal up and all that, but after kind of looking, there's more work that needs to be done than I thought. Like all those wires have to come down and, and be tracked down. I gotta take that shit down. Um, so yeah, there's more stuff to be done. Plus this metal's fucking heavy. Um, I, brought in, I brought in four pieces. I gotta bring in eight more, so I'll try to do that to, tomorrow. What I'll probably do is just work in here. Um, try to get as much as I can done in here tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> hopefully everything. But uh, I'll 
come in here, chop down that, move all our wires, hang up our metal, and then bring in eight more pieces and knock out the rest of that so we can start bringing our barrels, laying out all our scares, things like that. Um, so yeah, that metal's fucking heavy. And then once it's up, I have to come through with like a grinder and any of these like hanging hooks and stuff that's hanging off of it. Um, this little shit, it all needs to uh, be taken off so it's not dangerous um, to anyone walking by it. So yeah, anyway, made some progress in Ward B, got that mask done, made some progress in our barrel room. It's gonna be it for today, fucking tired. Hot, it's hot, it's warm. So anyway, um, hit hit subscribe guys, so that you can win some free stuff. We are inching up to 800. We were at almost 720 when I looked earlier, so we're making great progress. Um, I'm sure we'll be at 1,000 in no time. So one mask to give away at 800, whole bunch more when we hit 1,000. So, subscribe guys, share this, like this, all that. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm Justin Hill tuning out, and you stay scary. <laughs> Thank you guys very much!